welcome back. Glad to be back. Yeah. So, at what point was the decision kind of made in your mind? And obviously, you, everyone's got a big decision to make. Do you return? Do you explore the NFL draft? What do you do? When, when did you kind of, you know, have that in your, your mind that you wanted to come back? And, and why did you want to come back to UCF for one more year? Uh, basically, during the uh, bowl prep, I was, you know, talking to my family and seeing where I was in the draft, like where I was projected to go. But I felt like I had left a lot on the field last year. Like it was some more that I could show and prove that I could do to uh, the NFL. So, you know, we went six and seven. So that, that was in my mind too. Like I don't want to go out like that. Like I want to win. So just just another year. Just want to do another year. RJ, do you look at last year? You mentioned the leading stuff off the field. Do you look at last year and that, and that record and that motivates you maybe going into this offseason to prepare for the, for the second year of the Big 12? Yeah, definitely. Uh, me and all the other, other, other older guys, we're not going for 6 and 7 no more. Like, that's, to me, that's embarrassing. We should have went 6 and 7. I felt like we had a better team than that. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to step up more as a leader vocally and show by my actions. So I'm going to make sure we take that next step. You have a new, uh, new, new old offensive coordinator coming back with Tim Harris Jr. Of course, you work, you work with him in the running back room in your previous time. Helped you rehab from the torn ACL, torn the pelvic ACL. What's it like to have him back on campus? Yeah, it's. I'm excited by it. You know, I, Coach Harris. He was a great guy. I mean, he was my coach. Uh, he was a great teacher, and uh, I feel like the receivers they're gonna really love him. Uh, he's he's a great mentor and a uh, great person to uh, be around and learn from. So I'm excited that he's back. Across the Big 12, there's a lot of running backs coming back. Holly Gordon, who you had a very public battle with uh, in a 45-3 game. What does it say about the this conference that so many talented players are coming back? Yeah, it's, it's an elite conference. It just shows uh, the amount of elite players that's on each team. You know, I feel like every team has a great running back. It seemed like huh, last year, every team had a great running back. So. It's just, I just got to step my game up and uh, show that I'm better than each and every running back in the uh, conference. On offense, you guys are returning a lot of your key playmakers. You're adding a quarterback like KJ Jefferson, multi-year starter in the SEC. How excited are you when you look at what you're returning and what's going to be on the field, especially with KJ next season? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, KJ brings a lot. He's, he's very experienced, you know, in the SEC. And, uh, we got a lot of weapons surrounding him, so uh, I feel like our offense should be unstoppable. Like, I don't think nobody should be able to stop them. You also mentioned that Tim Harris is one of the best teachers he's been around, so can you give us a sense of maybe his teaching style and how he feels that would translate to a new position room? Uh, he's just, he's just a great person to learn from. Uh, he gonna, he gonna like, yeah, he's just a great person to learn from. Like, it's, that's it. Oh, we saw on uh, social media you met. You had a little breakdown video of your your long touchdown run. You talked about how your hamstring and turf toe was bothering you during that time. Can you just I, I was wondering if you're able to elaborate on just what was what was you, what you were going through in the season with that sort of thing and how that ended up. You know, you get people playing through that. Yeah, I think uh, that was I think that was the first game where my hamstring was messing with me. Uh, I hurt my toe West Virginia game, so I think that was the week before the Oklahoma State game. So, uh, yeah, those were the main two injuries that were bothering me throughout the year. RJ, you talked about how six and seven was embarrassing. You guys felt you were a lot better team than that. You know, you look at offense, defense, all the guys returning, all the guys you're adding. What's your expectation for UCF next year in the Big 12? Uh, winning every game, that's the expectation. Going into the fall camp, uh, making that uh, the main, our main goal is to win every game. So you guys feel like you should definitely be a championship contender? Yeah. Playoff contender? Yes. You have career highs across the board last season, one of the best rushers in the Big 12. It's your last season in the Big 12. How are you prepared to even jump higher than that? Uh, just focusing on uh, the little things, you know, uh, making sure uh, I protect the ball, I don't turn the ball over, uh, pass blocking, uh, clean up on my pass blocking, and uh, just any other things that I feel like I need to uh, focus on. Uh, Maybe getting a little faster too, but um, yeah, it's always things that I can improve on. So yeah. Last one, Kristen. How do you weigh the financial risk and reward as a running back of going through another full season of college football as a workhorse, and how much does maybe NIL uh, have an effect on on that perspective of staying in college? Uh, yeah, I, 
even if I feel like even if NIL wasn't here, I still would have did another year. Uh, really, uh, this is probably this is like my third year. Even though I'm older, this my this I'm going into my third year of really playing. So uh, just showing that I can uh, do anything that they these other uh, these other these people say that I can't do. So just showing that I can. Uh, that in Darby, how important is your legacy in UCF? You're a hometown hero, a guy from Orlando. You're going to go down as one of the greatest running backs here this school has ever had. Did that also influence your decision to come back for another year? Uh, yeah, it did. Um, I want to be the best. That's I, I'm a competitor. I want to win. I just I want I want to be the best. That's that's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's going to conclude the press conference portion. Arguments.